takes a while for sort of the dust to settle and for you to kind of, you know, for you to sort of see things with clarity sometimes. And, mm. you know, ten years is a long time to sort of get over um, the mistakes that maybe we both made. Do you, do you see this as a, the tears? Is it like a growing up or grown up project or is it a more kind of back to basics? Back I hope it's not a grown up project. That sounds like that sounds like an awful kind of horrible thing. I'd hate it if it's grown up. Hopefully it's hopefully it's you know, it's challenging and hopefully it's exciting and hopefully it's on the edge and, it, and I, that's the way it feels for me. Mm. It doesn't feel in any way safe and grown up. I mean, there's sort of there are sentiments on the album, from my point of view, that I wouldn't have been able to write in 1994, because I'm a different person, like anyone would be. But there's a lot of loneliness, and there's a lot of anger on the record as well. Yeah. So, how do would how would you describe the record? More than that. Well, I think it's a very beautiful record. Um, I think it's I think it's got. Uh, quite, kind of like quite a lot of emotional character. I think it's um, uh, uh, it swings. It's a, it's about mood swings. It kind of goes from quite flippant pieces like the lovers, which is you know, kind of pr probably the the poppiest thing on the record, and and maybe something like imperfection, which is quite poppy as well. And then it swings all the other way to things like songs like the asylum and uh, ghost of you and things like that. So there's a lot of depth to it. But I think if there's anything that unites it, it's 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 quite emotional. You know, we chose the name The Tears because we thought it sort of hinted at what we were trying to do with the emotional level of, of the music and the songs mm. and whatever. And we like the tears, the sense that the tears could be, uh, you know, a sort of happiness, sadness, that kind of thing. Mm. So. Last time working together, it was actually in another century. The world's not the same, of course, but also different how does it affect the, the lyrics and the music or living in another century yeah well uh, you know it's not that kind of definite a, 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 a turning point is it you know i think everyone it's not like you know on the first of january 2000 everyone s suddenly started kind of wearing white spacesuits and eating their food in capsule form do you know what i mean it's like it's Everything's evolution, isn't it? It's, mm. I don't know. I mean, there's a lot of for me. There's a lot of kind of like references to to the modern world and references to to kind of uh, the loneliness of the modern world and kind of um, tensions and angst that one feels being a member of modern society. Mm. I mean, you know, the 90s didn't really become apparent what they were till sort of the middle of the 90s, and now... I, mean, I don't know, what is this? What do you think this is? This decade? Can you sort of define it? Yeah. I mean, the end, the, I think the biggest thing about it, the most clear definition is sort of like, you know, computers and stuff like that, really. That's the biggest revolution. But apart from that, culturally, sort of scientifically, I can see there's a huge difference between this and the 90s, but sort of culturally, I can't yet. Mm. You know? Takes time. Don't see that the music uh, that music has has sort of really put on a new a new mark. I think, I think a lot of it is that what happened in the last ten or twenty or thirty years, all this stuff that people discovered and didn't really know what to do with it, particularly with yeah technology and stuff like that. And I think in culture as well, and that's a lot of this new decade is about trying to work out what the hell you do with all this stuff. And maybe music's a bit like that at the moment. Mm. It's a bit like. It's kind of inspiration from all sorts of places, but not really quite defined and focused. And everything's quite sort of, you know, music seems quite happy to be existing in the music industry and stuff. Mm. Lots of bands seem too happy to be part of the industry, wearing white collars and stuff, which I find a bit distressing. In relations to um, private or professional ones, you often talk about your complementary to each other. What does Brett have that you don't? <laughs> what do you find? Is? <laughs> uh, I don't know. It's fun that it's a bit Mister and Mrs. That isn't it? You know, like you have to go yeah. and put the headphones on and. 
<laughs> lovely eyebrows. Yeah. Ooh, What's his favourite programme? Lovely little thing okay, he does with his eyebrows. Skip the proud it's part then, the, the professional. <laughs> It's really straightforward. He, he sings and writes the lyrics and I write the music and we yeah. excel it. I think it's one, one thing you start to understand, I suppose, after you've been doing this a while, is you, you understand your strengths and start to um, enjoy your strengths, you know, and, uh, that, and, and work within your strengths and try and expand them as much as possible. And it's nice when you've got a com you, you feel confident that the person you're with is, is excelling in the same way in their field and, and then vice versa you're confident of each other what you're going to produce I feel that you know I feel very confident I'm going to, I know what to do to inspire Brett to write something half decent and you know and that it's going to end up in a great record I don't, mm. I don't have doubts about it mm. you know so sort of, and my only doubts are in what I try and do myself in order to get to that point uh, that's, that's, that's the only that's the only way you think about it really but it's um you know, it's just a sort of taking for granted confidence, really. But how do you manage to, okay, reunion, but how do you manage not to go back to the bad patterns or the bad circles? Because it's just not the same, it's not, this isn't, it's reunion, we just hate the reunion thing, it's just not okay. a reunion, it's just, it's just, we just hate all that nostalgia, we just don't, it's like if I was carrying around a picture of all my childhood photos and getting them out every day just to remind myself of what I look like and think, oh, that's nice, look at me there, grey, oh, and then put it away. You know, you just don't do that. That's exactly what it'd be like. It's, you know, I hate the nostalgia. And and we, we're sort of working together because we want to work together, not because we want to sort of particularly go over the past, really. <coughs> you know, we want to, for me, the only point of this is, is making new music. There's mm. no other point to it whatsoever, otherwise we might as well be in sort of, you know, some karaoke band. There's no point. That's why we've called the band The Tears. It's a new band. I'm proud of their past and stuff, and that's fine, and we've made some good music and that, but that's it's in the past. You know, the, the only important thing to me right this second is what is, is writing the next album. Mm. We haven't got time to do it. We haven't <laughs> got time to do anything else. I mean, if we were to now say, oh, you know what, we've got to do these interviews for the next four hours, why don't we just sit down and get some pictures out? And you know, we, we haven't got time to do any of that, literally. We've got so much going on with this record and what we want to do and, and discussing this and, and thinking about the next one and stuff. We'd, mm. we'd be fools to sit around, to, you know, to just start, just, you know, meander. But I guess it's not me only that, that asks you the questions about... Mm. Or use the word reunion. No, absolutely, no. It's but it's something that we have to clarify, and it's not, I'm not blame, particularly blaming you or anything no. like that. And it's obviously, you know, we're aware that people want to sort of have got kind of certain preconceptions about this, but it's important for us to try and say what we.